Welcome to Fantomu Art Box. My name is Deborah, and this is the Craft With Me tutorial. Today we're going to be doing, or you guys are going to be watching me fumble through this. The Sophie and Toffee bezel back UV resin. Um, I'm going to do, first off, I'm going to open it and then I'm going to show you what's in the box and, or bag. I thought it was going to be a box, but it ended up being a bubble wrap. So I ordered two of these. This one is the UV resin. The other one I ordered was the Snow White acrylic keychain that you have to put together. Um, and that one I think requires no prior knowledge or <laughs> or hopefully it doesn't require too much work. Uh, this one is going to be interesting because I've never really worked with um, UV resin before. So this is going to be very interesting and hopefully it comes with some good stuff. So Sophie and Toffee, they gave us a uh, here, here's how you can save more. And then it gives you like join loyalty program and whatnot. Um, and then, ooh. So in the bag, let me see here. In the bag is included, so it doesn't even have a manual. So this is going to be interesting. I'm assuming this is the tape for uh, the bezel backs and the bezel backs are up here. So let me, let me open it actually. Unless I ruined the seal, which I probably did. I ruined the seal, I cut the seal. So that's always fantastic. So yeah, it has some mixing cups, some pigment, um, one bottle of UV, two bottles of UV resin, a light, and you know what? When I go to the table, I will list out all things <laughs> as I'm going because it's a little bit harder to do it right now. But the bezels that I chose were cat feet, cat star themed. So um, I'll leave a link to in the description as to what package this one is. Um, it's just the basic starter kit and I didn't want to do anything too crazy. Uh, so that's what I did. There's another piece in here, additional, because I didn't really want to do all of those, like those particular bezel backs. I kind of wanted some other ones. So I, I bought more. <laughs> I went a little nuts and bought more just in case I actually enjoyed doing it. And Last but not least, I have no idea what these are. Um, it says S and T freebies. So, you know, um, what I will say is that I kind of wish that they had, um, a manual of some kind. So I guess I'm going to be winging this real hard because I, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, with a, with UV resin. I've only ever used UV resin once and that was to fix a chimp, a chip in my sink. <laughs> so this is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, let's go onward to listing out the items that I got in the package and showing you the stuff that, uh, I'll be working with and hopefully I won't make too much of a mess. <laughs> so I opened up the Sophie and Toffee box and here's what came with it. Uh, this is the standard bezel um, kit. So it came with a UV light, uh, two clear UV resin bottles, some mixing cups, the bezel back tape to uh, work with the bezels. So you just stick them on here and then you work with the UV resin. Uh, it looks as though I got some tweezers. This one I think is to fill with UV resin, it's a mold. Um, and then they have like little bits of uh, charms that you can put inside of the UV resin. These are pigments, I believe, that you can put into the mixing cups with the UV resin. Um, same thing with these white and black ones, I'm assuming. Uh, these are pretty much eye rings and D rings or whatever rings you want to call them where you can attach uh, to the either the bezels or the mold, I assume. Um, and they have like little keychain things as well and necklace 
things inside. They also have the dropper tool. Uh, I didn't notice that. They do have it inside of this package. I didn't want to open this one because it would become really messy. It came with the bezels on top. So it came with like these little shapes to put inside the bezels. So these are the bezels that it came with. These ones below are the bezels that I bought in addition. So they're like the behinds of uh, various animals. So there's a cat. Um, I think this is the this is a panda, I think. Um, I'm gonna have to look at it again on the website, but these are additional that I bought to be a little bit more creative um, and if I feel like doing more. What I think I'm going to have to do is probably purchase additional um, tape because I don't think enough was given. I actually think that um, for all of the bezels that they have for the kit, they would probably need at least I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six tapes or seven strips of tape to actually create these. Uh, and it again, like this kit is a starter kit, but the thing that I have with Sophie and Toffee, although they give a lot of creative stuff and it's awesome, you kind of have to research a little bit about what you're doing uh, because a lot of them, like this one didn't come with a manual. So I did do some research on resin when I was like, oh, I should start doing some resin. But then I realized how expensive resin, a hobby of resin can become. And also the fact that I would have to wear the mask and the gloves and all that stuff. I was like, no, I just want to try a little bit of it. I don't think I want to go fully into it. Uh, some of the things that aren't provided with the kit, which you probably have to buy is a silicone mat in case you make a lot of mistakes. Um, when the UV resin hardens, you can, it's easier to clean up. Uh, and another thing that I bought in addition to this kit, because I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to move around and mix things, uh, was a silicone stick. So this is just to uh, mix the items in the mixing cup and to like, you know, spread it out and then use the light to harden it. So if you're gonna do Sophie and Toffee and you're gonna, you're gonna to subscribe to the box. Make sure that you do a bit of research on resin and how it's used and the safety precautions to use it. Uh, for this one, I'm probably, I mean, it came with gloves, so I'll probably use the gloves, um, but I don't think I need to use the mask with such a small amount of resin. And yeah, so we're gonna get started with creating something out of this, who knows what, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I'll show you some of the process and uh, once I figure out what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm not sure what these are though. So, you know, that'll be interesting. I, I, yeah, I have no idea what these are. So, <laughs> yeah. so as a person who hardly ever works in resin or never, actually I've never worked in resin. I've only ever, again, fixed the kitchen sink with a bit of resin because someone told me that it was good to fix chips. Uh, this is completely different. This is more on the artsy and craft side of things. So yeah, let's get started. So here I'm just peeling back the tape and pressing the bezel down really hard uh, so that the resin doesn't leak into like outside of the bezel. So pouring in a little bit of UV resin and some of the pigmentation into a mixing cup to make the colors, as well as some of the mica powder or powder that came with the kit. Now using the stick to just spread the UV resin a little bit into the bezel, uh, you have more control with the silicone stick. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you don't have one, it can go everywhere. I didn't make enough resin the first time, so um, I had to mix a little bit more going forward. So here, I'm just mixing a little bit more.
So again, filling the second mixing cup with some white resin and a bit of pigmentation in purple and yellow to give it a nice color. Again, you can take whatever pigment you want and make whatever color you want, but this is just what I had on hand. So with these pieces that I am going to put into the bezel, the little uh, embellishments, those little moon and star embellishments, um, I would recommend hardening the first layer of resin, then putting on the embellishments, then putting another layer of resin on top of it. Uh, simply because when you put the little like the embellishments on top, it sinks to the bottom. And you'll see what I mean when you uh, see me put it in to the bezel. Uh, here I made kind of a mistake and then it ended up being black, so yeah. Then I tried to make it more white, but it wasn't working, so I'm like, ah, okay, I have more black, it's fine. So I have to make more white pigmentation to fill the rest of the bezel. So I overflowed the uh, mold a little bit, <laughs> too much resin. Hardened it with the UV light and then put the embellishments into the mold and then put another layer of resin just so that you could see the embellishments because at the end result for the cat you couldn't see the embellishments because they sunk into the into the mold. So the UV light uh, you have to hold it for about 15 to 20 minutes and I didn't want to do that so I took a food container and I makeshifted my own UV light but I would highly recommend that you buy your own UV light. And that's it. This is the, uh, the final result of my bezels that I chose to experiment with. So the verdict, Sophie and Toffee. Um, if you've been watching this far, you will see that I probably ran out of materials. Um, the beginner kit that I got, it it's pretty good for what it is in terms of it provides you with pigmentation and the UV resin and a few mixing cups. Um, the silicone stick that I used to mix things with and actually spread the UV resin was very helpful. Um, I also got that from so Sophie and Toffee, but 
If you are going to go with any of the kits, make sure that you do your research on UV resin or resin in general. Um, make sure that you get some of the materials that I actually didn't have, so I kind of makeshift, makeshifted certain things uh, just because I didn't want to hold the UV light for 20 to 15 minutes. That's quite a long time per bezel to be holding the UV light. So my recommendation is if you are getting the Sophie and Toffee kits, make sure you know a little bit about resin and you've done a little bit of research. Uh, make sure that you get enough double si uh, bleh, tape to put the bezels on, although I'm told you can use packing tape or I saw online that you can use packing tape instead of buying the double sided tape, but you know, who knows? So make sure you have enough of that, get yourself a silicone mat or a cutting mat or some kind of mat so that when the silicone hardens, you can clean up easier. Uh, the mixing cups I found, there were not enough, so either get yourself a silicone mixing, yeah, mixing cup or get yourself, um, you know, disposable mixing cups. Uh, I didn't really use the gloves, though I probably should have, and I would still recommend getting a mask to wear for UV resin. It had a very distinct smell. So, as I said, I've never really worked in resin before and the only time I ever used resin was to fix my sink. So, yeah, like, the kit was good in terms of what, for what it is and the fact that they provide you with the bezels and everything is good. Uh, the only thing I'll say is there are additional things that you probably should buy, like, um, I think they had a mold for the cat, or they had a mold for a cat but, and then icy screws that you screw into the resin, but you need a drill. So that's something that is not provided and something that you can buy on Sophie and Toffee or Amazon or wherever you want to buy it. But um, yeah, Sophie and Toffee is more like, you have to think about the project that you're doing ahead of time and sort of plan, plan out what it is that you want to achieve with it and then make sure that you have all the materials. So with mine, I didn't have all the materials. I worked with what I had and it turned out pretty good considering like I didn't buy too much additional things. Uh, but I might have to buy additional things if I want to finish all the bezels that I bought because I bought a lot. So yeah, I might do another video of doing more of it if I can get the materials to uh, finish up the project. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like and subscribe if you like the content. Thanks for watching.